Thank you. Welcome to Lackawanna College, Falcon Nation. My name is Jill Murray, and I'm the president of Lackawanna College, very proud president of this fine, innovative, and progressive institution. We're thrilled to host the newly elected 48th governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, and the many honored guests and elected officials here today to celebrate the governor's new tax credit initiative for police and law enforcement. We're very proud at Lackawanna College of both of our police academies, Act 120 programs, both in Scranton and in Hazleton, and the literally thousands of cadets we have trained in our over four decades of operation, who continue to protect our families, our cities, and our neighborhoods. We're honored that Governor Shapiro has chosen to make our police academy the face of his initiative, designed really to help, the, to help address the growing difficulty in filling positions in law enforcement and public safety. The good news is that while police departments have seen a drop in applications over these past couple of years, this year we have a record number of cadets at our academies, and we're thrilled, so congratulations to this academy. We really see a two-fold reason for this growth. One is our new director, Kevin Mahoney, uh, whose lifelong career in law, yes. <laughs> whose lifelong career in law enforcement and the state police have really enhanced our academy and our quality of the cadets that we're producing. And second are really the partnerships we have with local and municipal law enforcement agencies. We value those relationships and see our role at Lackawanna College as one to foster a new culture of law enforcement. Again, thank you to Governor Shapiro for coming to Lackawanna College and spending time with the future of law enforcement. And at this time, I'd like to now introduce to you Scranton's Police Chief, Thomas Carroll. Thank you, Doctor. Good afternoon, Governor, distinguished guests, fellow law enforcement officers, and future law enforcement officers. Every day, cops are on the street doing great work, and I cannot be prouder of their performance. Unfortunately, we are operating in a difficult climate, which creates challenges. It's a poor national image that affects us locally, Plus, there's daily scrutiny of all of our tasks that we perform. This all impacts our recruitment to this honorable profession. Thus, it creates shortfalls for us and our staffing when officers retire. I'm very passionate about public service, more importantly about public safety. The difficulty of maintaining public safety increases when staffing shortfalls exist. Our dedicated officers will always face the challenges head on and cover those shortfalls, but for how long? It's not sustainable. I, like my fellow public safety counterparts, am concerned about the impact of the shortfalls to our operations over time. For the first time in our history, We've developed a comprehensive recruiting initiative to motivate good people, like the ones that sit here, to accept the challenges of policing and join our forces. So Governor, we appreciate you understanding the seriousness of our staffing needs, promoting law enforcement's legitimacy, and proposing recruitment incentives for public safety positions. Thank you for coming to Scranton, and thank you for the support. Thanks, Chief. Appreciate that. I'd like to ask Commissioner Terriani to come to the podium. Thank you. Um, thank you to the governor for coming here, uh, for the great job he's done. And six short weeks. Uh, he's already done phenomenal things. Uh, it, Lackawanna County is a great place to live. 
and people talk about jobs, there are jobs here. But workforce development is the big issue. That's, that's, that's our problem. And we've been working on that. But with the help of Governor Shapiro, that's going in the right direction. And that's all we can do, is make things go in the right direction. Make things work better than they have in the past. So Governor Shapiro, very, very appreciative for all you've done for us. Uh, and what you're going to continue to do for us. Uh, and uh, it, uh, it's, it's because of the younger people that are involved in, in this, that are driving this community to be better continually. With that, we have with us our state senator, Marty Flynn. And Marty is a, the biggest proponent of public safety and police officers and this type of activity. He's a great senator. He's done a great job for us. He's a friend, and I'm very proud to announce Marty Flynn. Thanks, Commissioner Natariani. Good afternoon. First, I'd like to thank Governor Shapiro for inviting me and for deciding uh, to highlight his plan to rebuild our workforce, and specifically to encourage more Pennsylvanians to join the courageous and vital ranks of our law enforcement statewide. He understands that we have a critical workforce shortage. Thank you to the cadets and the police academy at Lackawanna College for hosting today and for all the work you'll be doing to keep us safe. It's very important. Right now, too many communities across the state and right here in northeastern Pennsylvania are struggling to fill officer vacancies. Right now, our Commonwealth is short over 1,200 municipal officers statewide. When the, when the governor gave his address in front of the entire legislator, leg legislature, I was pleased to hear he was going to be investing in new local police officers, state troopers, and 911 dispatchers. I hear from police departments all over my district all the time that they're struggling to attract new officers. And Governor Shapiro's idea to provide a $2,500 tax credit to those who decide to join the noble profession of protecting us and our communities is a great idea. He also is going to add, uh, for teachers and nurses, uh, a tax credit. It's an idea that I completely support. I want to see you in this room get the support you need for your very important work to keep our community safe. During the governor's budget address, he also highlighted the need to retain 911 dispatchers, something very important here in Northeastern PA, where there are 25% vacancies right now. His plan to create a sustainable funding source that keeps up with the cost of living is a great idea, and an idea that I 100% support. This governor's commitment to funding the PSP, creating tax credits to attract new officers, and cost of living increases for 911 dispatchers is something that will help all of us in this room and all of us in this Commonwealth, because when we invest in our law enforcement, we make our communities safer. And that is what's most important here, to create a safe environment for you to work in so that we can all succeed in Pennsylvania. And next, I'd like to introduce our Congressman, Matt Cartwright. Thank you. Well said, Senator Flynn. And, and uh, I'm here to raise my voice and welcome to Governor Shapiro. Uh, this man, you're going to figure it out soon enough, is a human dynamo. And he understands the importance of making government work for everybody. He understands the importance of promoting public safety. And he understands how good our law enforcement are here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. You know that I brag about our law enforcement officers in our area down in Washington, D.C. We don't seem to have the problems they have in other places that don't understand community policing the way we do here. So congratulations to all the cadets and best, best wishes to you. I also want to welcome our wonderful delegation of state representatives. We, we have Bridget Kozarowski, Kyle Donahue, Kyle Mullins, Jamie Haddock, Maureen Madden. Welcome to all of you. Uh, these people get it too. They, they're here because they're promoting public safety as well. 
So I want to introduce to you Lindsay Dippery, who is a cadet here. She's a graduate of, of Holy Cross High School. Come on up, Lindsay. Thank you, Congressman Courtright. Good afternoon. I'm Lindsay Dippery, captain of the Lackawanna College Police Academy, number 260, and a sponsored cadet of the Scranton Police Department. On behalf of myself and the rest of my cadet class, we would like to thank the governor for his new tax proposal for newly hired police officers. We believe it will be a great incentive to provide Pennsylvania with additional police officers. And at this time, I'd like to, to introduce the governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro. Thank you. What Cadet Dupree did not tell you is she played a little basketball in college and I talked a little trash to her on the way in and <laughs> invited myself into your game. What'd you say, it's cops against firefighters? Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> all right, so maybe y'all invite me and I'd like to come play. My wife will tell me not to get hurt, but I'll enjoy getting out there with y'all. Um, thank you so much for having me back at Lackawanna Cal College. Um, this is the place I wanted to come to speak specifically about some of our workforce challenges and especially when it comes to um, our failure to recruit um, enough municipal police officers and state troopers over the last number of years. We have a real crisis in this Commonwealth and we are addressing it. Just a couple weeks ago, actually not even two weeks ago, about a week and a half ago, I presented to the lawmakers here, Senator Flynn and our state representatives, by the way, it's good to see how many state representatives we have here from Northeastern Pennsylvania. They do a great job for you, and I'd ask that you put your hands together for them. To do great work. Thank you. And I unveiled a budget, which is a real thick document that contains a whole lot of numbers in it. But the truth is a budget is more than numbers. It's a statement of your priorities, a statement of your principles. And I spoke throughout my address about really three core areas where we needed to make critical investments. One is educating our children and making sure they have the best shot to succeed in the future. The second is to make sure we grow our workforce, grow our economy, give more people a shot, making sure that communities have been hollowed out and left behind, see real investment from the Commonwealth. And the third is speaking about the right for every Pennsylvanian to both be safe in their communities and feel safe in their communities. We have to attack that in a number of different ways. And one of the most critical ways we can make people both be safe and feel safe is to make sure we have more police in our communities, more troopers on the beat, and to make sure that they are properly trained. We have a responsibility to do that work in the Commonwealth. And I put forth a budget, which I'm grateful for the support from your local lawmakers for, to be able to begin the work we need to do to address this workforce shortage issue, as well as making sure that we create safer communities. Let me explain to you how we're gonna tackle this. When it comes to state troopers, we know we need more. And so my budget authorizes four new state trooper cadet classes. Much like the cadets you see here, we need more of them across the Commonwealth. That translates into about 400 new cadets that we'll see across the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We know, as Senator Flynn mentioned a moment ago, from a municipal policing standpoint, we're short about 1,200 municipal police officers. That's simply unacceptable. We have to attract the best of the best into what I believe and have believed for a long time is a noble profession, and that is serving in law enforcement. We do that in a number of different ways. First, we all have to state very clearly over and over and over again that being a police officer is being a part of a noble profession. And then we've got to put our money where our mouth is. And so for the first time ever, we're creating a really unique tax incentive program where we're saying to every new recruit, state trooper or municipal police officer, when you get certified here in Pennsylvania for the first time, we will put up to $2,500 back in your pockets for at least three years. That goes for new cadets like you, and it goes for those who we can steal from New York, New Jersey, other states to come and get certified here in Pennsylvania, putting real money back in your pocket to both help you economically, but also make very clear how much we value you and address our workforce shortage. Now, 
It's also important to note that part of this group who will be um, able to receive this tax credit will also include teachers, and I'll have more to say about that in the coming weeks, and nurses, something that Representative Kozarowski has really championed for so long. We have a shortage of both teachers and nurses as well. But it's most important right now to make sure that we address the shortage when it comes to law enforcement, that we have safe communities, that you go through your training, you're properly trained to be able to go out and keep the peace in our communities, and that we work together to try and make sure Pennsylvania is a safe place to raise a family and to work. I am grateful for the assignment that you are willing to take on by going through this cadet training. And so on behalf of 13 million Pennsylvanians, on behalf of Colonel Paris, on behalf of the FOP leadership here, the legislative leaders and others, we thank you for your service. We thank you for your commitment to our communities. And most importantly, we want you to know that we have your backs. So thank you very much. Appreciate you all being here today. And with that, we'd be happy to take some questions. Any questions from the media? I'm looking at you, Rosie. Are we good? Andy's got the red jacket on. We got a question, Andy? No? Yeah. I mean, you're wearing the jacket, so, yeah. Sometimes the distrust of police departments forces, maybe for a few, few mistakes or uh, the, the bad folks out there. How do we address that? Are we making progress in that? And how do you think we can best approach that uh, factor of the equation? We start by stating very clearly that being a police officer is being part of a noble profession. And being a police officer also brings with it a responsibility um, to carry yourself with the utmost integrity, to go through the highest level of training and to make sure that you work with the community to keep the community safe. We tackle this in a number of different ways in my budget and through my administration, encouraging more departments to go through what's known as law enforcement accreditation, which kind of raises the standards when it comes to training, really important. We tackle this obviously by virtue of putting real resources in, as I spoke about here today. And in addition to that, recognizing that in order to keep communities safe, you not only need more police, but you've got to invest in preventative efforts in communities that really work through our churches, through our local civic organizations and others. So our budget proposes to put more resources into what's called the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency, which is chaired by my Lieutenant Governor, Austin Davis, a former state representative, to drive resources out into the community to help keep people safe. And then finally, um, we also have to recognize that helping officers get to the scene quickly, making sure that the right people are sent to the scene, also restores people's faith and confidence in law enforcement and first responders. And so as Senator Flynn alluded to earlier, my budget puts um, additional resources into our 911 centers so that those 911 operators who are an integrally important part of um, law enforcement and keeping communities safe know whether they're supposed to dispatch fire or first responder, know whether they're supposed to uh, dispatch law enforcement, know whether they're supposed to dispatch mental health um, you know, uh, advocates. These are all critically important parts of making a community safe. It will come in part by respecting law enforcement and hiring more, and it'll come in part by engaging and investing in the community, and we're doing both. Anything else? Okay, thank you all very much for being here.
State Police, I've got incredible confidence in, in him, and I have tremendous confidence in all of you. Last week, I unveiled that a, a shop. The second is growing our workforce and creating economic opportunities all across Pennsylvania, particularly in the forgotten community. And the third is in no particular order, but the third is ensuring the safety and well-being of all Pennsylvanians and investing in safety. seen it's a law enforcement and second I think we've got a bigger societal challenge when it comes to a lack of respect for law enforcement my view and I've said this over and over and over again I said it the week after George Floyd was so critically important you need to make sure you have the resources to do your work and so we're coming at this in a number of different ways one again expanding the number of cadets to be able to going through um, training and second is putting our money where our mouth certified here in Pennsylvania, enforcement, as well as making sure we grow our ranks. We have a real crisis in this commonwealth with frontline workers. We see it with the cops, we see it with nurses, we see it with the teachers. They'll also be eligible for this personal income tax cut as well. Others, um, we're grateful for the support that we've received from our federal partners like Congressman Cartwright, who also believes in law enforcement and making investments there. And one of the important folks who is going to have a, a big say in, in when we will be able to get those dollars driven out to our new cadets, our new police officers, as quickly as possible. So it's an honor to be with you here today. Um, take your training seriously. Um, what you're doing is valuable. It is a noble profession. And I'm hopeful that you will help lead in, us into a new era of, of respect for law enforcement, of investing in law enforcement. Great job, and I look forward to seeing you out on the streets and in our communities, keeping us safe. Thank you all very much. Accept the challenges of policing and join us a little. And people talk about jobs. There are jobs here. But workforce development is the big issue. That's, that's, that's our problem. And we've been working on that. But with the help of Governor Shapiro. Specifically, to encourage more Pennsylvanians to join the courageous and vital ranks of our law enforcement statewide. He understands that we have a critical workforce shortage. The importance of making government work for everybody. He understands the importance of promoting public safety, and he understands how good our law enforcement are here in northeastern Pennsylvania. You know that I brag about our law. In the rest of my cadet class, we would like to thank the governor for his new tax proposal for newly hired police officers. 
we believe will be a great incentive to provide Pennsylvania with additional police officers. And at this time, I'd like to, to introduce the governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro.